Oh, welcome to uh, Ted Gina's Art Adventures, and today we're actually going to go on an adventure. And currently up in Pine Forest. It is raining, so I'm still going to go explore. All of these purple flowers. So there's a forest fire here about mm, 10 years ago. Burned down a lot of this, so I am curious about this right here. Luckily, no one's in here. That looks like someone's made it a shelter. Funny. Someone's actually made this into a little fire pit down there. Can you guys see that? So, one of my favorite books is uh, Planet of the Cave Bears. I uh, can't think of how you pronounce her name. I have it on audiobook. Really good. This reminds me of something she would make first when she was with the clan. And later on when she was not with the clan. He has been here a while. I can't tell. Now there's a guy that uh, there's a lot of uh, survival things here in Colorado. Not sure if he made that or not, but I'm going to do some painting. Hopefully tomorrow when it's not raining. Okay, it's been raining since I got here. Putting my tent up was fun. Okay, let's head up. Code aim. I'll come explore some of this tomorrow too. According to the weather forecast, Supposed to stop raining at eight. It does not start till two tomorrow. So, if I sound out of a breath, well, I would say about ten thousand feet up, and I'm only used to uh, well, Denver, fifty-two eighty, mile high. I'm not gonna try to go through there right now. Around the big boulder. I wish I could recognize what is plant, what is it? Oh. I don't know how well the camera's showing this, but and there's a lot to explore here. I'm gonna try to path over there. Try to get up over here. Alright. My sister's gonna be joining me. So yeah, definitely a path. Look our waterway. Oh, I was hoping for some. I don't know how much of the mountain you guys can see. Let's see if I can zoom you in. Yep. Zoom in here. There is a mountain over there. I think you guys can see it. Oh, that's a movement over there. I'm gonna keep my eye out for wildlife. I know there's deer up here and bears. I've seen them. Not this go around, but. My sister lives about, let's say about 20 miles of the crow flies in that direction. I know there's some people to camping down there, but I don't know if they're going to be out here. You guys see that? Over here. Completely dry under there. Of course, I wouldn't go underneath there unless I actually had to. A tree growing out of the rocks. Okay, this is where I saw 
movement is white. So I'm thinking a deer. Wow. Do you guys see that? Damn. One heck of a view. One heck of a view. All right. Let's get you guys over here. Where I saw it, so. I heard that noise. So, sorry, right, video cut out, but oh, you guys can see that. But I will head up there tomorrow. Yeah. Let me see if I can come back down here and start heading towards the path. Hasn't increased intensity in rain yet, so I got my tent and everything set up. As I said before. It's not the best setup. <laughs> kind of hard to set up a tent in the rain. Oh, shit. Yeah, this is steep. I head towards those rocks. You can see the rocks. Oh, I'm going to head over here. Do we need to be careful? Little wildlife. It looks so cool up there. Oh, I said I was gonna head to the trail. I will. I'm not trying to get a better view of me. There's a better view of this. Right. Explore this tomorrow. Hopefully my lungs will become was it applicated? Applicated, yeah. To the elevation. I do have asthma, so that definitely doesn't help. We got little succulents here. I believe you can eat. Huh. Definitely know you can eat some of this stuff. I'm probably not. Okay, you got the path down here. No, not a lot of people see my video, but you can tell me what that is. It a little bit more. Rock structure looks cool there. I'm trying to see the road from here. At least I can. Fortunately, I can't zoom you guys in.
to tell its parents that there's no more forest fires. I'm gonna walk under a tree like that. Jesus, I think it's gonna stop me. I'm gonna have to get creative here in a minute. I'm gonna cook some dinner. Plus, I'm gonna be careful. This here, as it breaks down, it's just gonna get softer and softer. Oh, the little uh, you right there, scratching against my thing. Oh, okay. Alright, you see it now. It is actually a log. Or some, really. That is cool. Get a better look at it. See the surrounding areas. And if we get a good look at the fog over here. See it rolling in. But yeah. Oh, man. plan on transporting this anywhere but if I ever could that looks so cool. Ooh wind is picking up. Alright. Hold on. I am actually gonna switch. Alright guys so here is a stump I have in the other video so cool look at let's get up close I love the color that mustard yellow orange right now it's shiny because of the rain we get back here we're gonna go see the forest from a distance I thought that was some sort of bag Oh guys, just just look at that view. The fog rolling in. Alright, so explored the stump. Seen the view. I'm gonna try to go over here. my campground. It's pretty cool. There's some more logs that look like they put here on purpose. Some woodpeckers chomping down. I don't know what they're called. I have some of them at work. I'm purple right now. Okay. Explore more of this area later tomorrow. And now, let's see about heading back and figuring out how to set up for food. Because I am hungry. A little stove with me. So we'll see how much that works. As I said, I won't stop bringing until like 8 o'clock. And you now, down in Denver, 8 o'clock means it's uh, pretty light out, but I don't know what 8 o'clock up here looks like.
you guys enjoy that view right there. More stuff to be careful with. Let's see if I can go this way. I'm going to finish my walk back to camp. Go make some food. Hopefully in the morning. It is not raining. I'll show you my setup. Alright. Just leave you. Look at those clouds. Panoramic view. See you guys later.